Boleh Shami beli teh? Yes. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to learn your word. Thank you, Lord, for blessing our listen with your Holy Spirit to teach your word. Thank you, Lord. Whatever we learn today, help us to put into practice. Lord, as your word says in Proverbs 4, 20, verse 21. My son, attend to my words, incline thy ear to my teaching. Let them not depart from thine ears. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. In Jesus' name we pray, Abba Father. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God, Alison. Over to you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, praise God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, uh, we are continuing from what we were seeing um, yesterday. So does anyone remember what we were seeing yesterday? No one remembers? We, are, we were seeing uh, something. We started, uh, I think, the day before yesterday, we started to see it. Hallelujah. Can you put your videos on, please? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so what did we see yesterday? Someone can tell me? Rest God. Okay, yesterday we were saying more grace to humble. And uh, we were studying about the pride and humility. And we were saying uh, about the prodigal son, how the father was humble to the prodigal son to the younger son, even after the younger son making a lot of mistakes, a lot of errors. Praise God. Okay, thank you, Jesus. So let's go back over there to that uh, scripture um, which you were seeing yesterday, Luke 15. One minute. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You? Luke 15, first number, uh, we were saying verse number 20, I think. Hallelujah. 15, verse number 20, I think. Yeah, 20, we were saying. See that. And he arose. And came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off. See that. He was a great way off. His father saw him. And had compassion. And ran. And fell on his neck. And kissed him. And the son said unto him. Father. I have sinned against heaven. And in your sight. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. Then scroll down, you know. For this was, my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost. And this God twenty fourth. Okay. 
For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his eldest son was in the field. And as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. Praise God. So now this elder son, the elder one, came to the house. And when he comes to the house, he heard music and da dancing. And he begins to suspect, because if you're hearing music and dancing on an ordinary day, okay, now what, what will be your condition? Your condition will be confused. You're suspecting something. And say that now his, uh, and 26, was sorry. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. He's asking what these things are actually meaning. And he said unto them, Thy brother is come, and thy father has killed the fatted calf, because he has received him safe and sound. Now, he is not asking how he came, but he is asking what is happening. Now, when, when he is asking what is happening, what should be the answer? The answer should be, uh, your brother is cut and your father has killed the fatted cow. Full stop. But he is going on to say, because he has received him, how has he come? He has received him. The father has received him safe and sound. Now, why you see this scripture is saying safe and sound is because he is speaking about, see, when, 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 when you are having someone off for a very, very long time and you miss that person, and you're hearing that that person has come. Now, what should be your condition? We will go is e. The next question will come. The next question will come. How is he? How is he? And because the next question comes, how is he? Even before he asks, the servant is saying, because he has received him safe and sound. And... He was happy and would go in. Therefore came his father out. And was angry. Praise God. Is that what the scripture is saying? No, oh, he was angry. No. And he would not go in. Yeah, so he was extremely angry. He was fully and full of anger, full of, you know, bondage. And he would not go in. No matter how much people force him, he is not going to come out of that bondage and step into the house. He is going to stay outside. And that is why his father, coming from the party, and is entreating him, coming out and is entreating him. Now, what, if, 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 uh, if you have a younger brother or sister or when you have a younger brother or sister, you might get into a lot of fights, correct? A lot of quarrels. But even if you get into the quarrels, you still love your brother and sister. That's why if your brother or sister has been out for a week, how will you feel? For a week. You miss that. That's that long. Out for a week, for two days, how will you feel? You will start asking your mother, where is he? Where is she? If your if your if your sibling is out of station. In the same way, this actually, according to this scripture, what should be the condition of this son, the elder son? My my son is back. Let me go and see him. Right? My brother. My, my brother. brother. My brother has come. Let me go and see him. But see that. And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve you. Now I said, even for a day or two, you can't bear staying without your sibling, no matter how much you get into arguments. How much time was this son away from the father? For years. That's why he's saying these many years. See, 
when you see that when i when i read this i was like the father accepted him after being uh, away for so many years not the father not knowing where he went how he went and what life he lived when we are in the word of god how many years have we gone away from god and then we have come back now he's saying lo these many years do i serve the neither transgressed i at any time thy commandment and yet thou never gave it me a kid that i may make i might make merry with my friends maybe we don't know but maybe this son was also living his own life uh, the way he wanted just like the younger son privately who knows but he said you would never gave me a kid means you never gave me even a small thin calf to be merry with just give me that uh, 29% compare see that amp but he said to his father look these many years i have served you and i have never neglected or disobeyed your command yet you have never given me so much as a young goat so that i might celebrate with my friends now this was the condition of the elder son was he in pride was he thinking what he had done see 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 that you know okay we'll see from here we okay see that but he said to his father look for all these years i what is his word i where is his focus i i have worked like a slave for you i have always done what you told me to do and you never gave me even a young goat for a party with my friends see how many times he saying me i my myself where is this elder son's focus the elder son's focus right on himself on himself now was he in pride yes yeah now 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 how many of you remember we studied low class demon high class demon it is not in the bible okay yes it is not in the bible it is not in the bible if you are going to ask me give me the scripture where it is written it is not in the bible now who is a person of high class demon high class demon are people in the church low class demon are people outside the church right high class demon was the elder son who was in his father's house low class demon uh low class demon that that is uh, can you please put enoch on mute there's lot of disturbance okay enoch stay on mute okay because there is lot of disturbance and it is distracting others also praise god if you want to speak you raise your hand and then you unmute and then you can mute praise god okay so what was i saying high class demon low class class no. and low class yeah. high class demon low class team now what is a high class team okay let me ask what is a low class demon you, you all said i remember i remember i remember so what is what is the low class team it's not in the bible but what is the low class team people outside the church okay see low class demons are people if if you see uh, sometimes when you go to the retreat when you go you see a person is on the floor screaming and moving and rolling around on the floor it is a low class demon why because the person knows that he has a demon and others also know that that person has a demon but the high class demon is not many times known you know what is the high class demon pride self righteousness self centeredness because the reason why i'm saying this is because you actually don't know if you see you don't know that you are in a demon you are thinking i'm just proud of myself i'm just proud of what i did but actually you are in you are in you are in 
self centeredness in pride and that is the high class demon now if you see the elder son was in a high class demon where he was in pride saying i worked for you i did for you i lived for you i did everything right and then you are saying you know you 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 are not even considering what i have done whereas this disgraceful son of yours this brother has lived such a life contradicting to the way you wanted him to live and you are giving him a party now this younger son was in a low class demon and the low class demon was he realized that he was having a demon he realized the mistakes he made and he repented hallelujah so are you understanding is praise god thank you jesus okay hallelujah now if you see uh praise god okay let's go to romans chapter 12 verse 1 Okay. Uh, give me from KJV. Okay, give me from RSV or NRSV. Okay, see that I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. So the spiritual worship is what is worship? worship is to get a drum to get a rock guitar to get a uh, uh, organ to get everything and start playing right am i right no. yes is that worship glorifying god okay but according to the bible the bible says worship is offering your bodies as a living sacrifice now i always thought when i hear the word sacrifice it is such a difficult thing to do correct how many of you how many of you thought like that sacrifice you are telling me to sacrifice but yes but yeah. according to the bible worship is offering yourself as a living sacrifice means for example okay if there is a mother and the mother is uh, working in a she's she's working in a job okay she's working as a nurse this mother is working as a nurse her duty is from 9 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock let me keep 8 o'clock in the morning to duty is like that and when she is working when... i still your voice you got stuck in between now am i clear yes okay so now when uh, this uh, when this mother is working as a nurse her duty finishes 6 o'clock now for example she has a son son let me keep 9 years old now when she is having a son of that age in when she is working in as a nurse in her house in the hospital in her clinic she sees there is another child at the, uh, another son at the same age as her son that is 9 years now will she stay for one or two hours and go home at 10 o'clock saying uh, let me take care of this son this boy will she take uh, four or five more hours care of her care of that boy care of him no No. no if you see instead she will leave at 6 o'clock what she will do 5 minutes before 10 minutes before she will get everything get all her stuff by the time it goes 6 00 she is out of the building correct yes, yes. 
Yes. No, but but when it when but when that um, but when that mother when it comes to her own child when her own child is uh you know sick when her own child is um how to say her own child is suffering will she say by six a six p.m. in the evening I will no longer look after you my duty is finished yes no look after yourself will she no. say or can she stay for the whole night awake even if she has work at eight o'clock in the morning she is staying whole night from from Six o'clock when she comes home and finds that the child is sick to over eight o'clock, even making the whole day of tomorrow, she is sacrificing, saying that I will not go to work. Right? Yes. yes. Sacrifice because of her love. Yes. If the mother is only going to say to the son, "I love you, I love you, I love you," but don't do anything, is that actually sacrifice? No, no. That's lip service. Lip service. What is sacrifice? Sacrifice is done by the action. When God sacrificed His own Son, it was there was an action. What was the action? He sent His only begotten Son into this world so that we should not perish, but we will have everlasting life. We will have eternal life. See, God is a very, very loving God. God is not a mean or a cruel God. God is a loving God. He gave himself as a sacrifice. And that's what today, the spiritual worship is what? Sacrifice. And does anyone remember what example I gave about sacrifice the other day? On the day when I was outside and I took the class outside, do you remember? Anyone, I gave an example of sacrifice. Yes. Yeah, Enoch will know that. Enoch, wait, okay? I'll give you last if no one is answering. Anyone? Okay, yeah, you know. Say it, Enoch. I thought you were giving the example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the example I'm asking you, which I gave the other? That. How many of you remember the example of tandoori chicken? Everyone forgot? The example of? Tandoori chicken. Ah, now I <laughs> ah, now everyone is going. Ah, yes, tandoori chicken. Right? Yeah. Well, why I give the example of sacrifice when you when the person is cutting the chicken, marinating the chicken, the chicken will say, "You better not touch me, or otherwise I'll kill you." No. 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 Will, will, the, will the chicken scream out and go cook, 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 cook? Will no. No. Will the chicken stay there? No. Yes. Yes. It won't do anything. It won't do anything. Now, uh, does it sacrifice? Yes. You marinate the chicken. You fry it. Will it say anything? Will it go coo 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 coo? No. 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 Why, why, why do not do any of those things? Why it will not do? Because it's dead. Because it's dead. Dead. In the same way, when I am offering myself as a living sacrifice, I am supposed to be marinated, marinated with the word of God. My focus should be on the word of God. I should be like that dead chicken. But what do we do? You gave one word to me. I will show you a lesson. I will teach you the lesson. Right? I will give you 10,000 more. Yeah. If you are going to say, I will show you the lesson, I will teach you the lesson, you know what that clearly proves? That clearly proves that you did not believe that word and you did not marinate yourself with that word. If you would have marinated yourself with that word, you know what would have happened? What would have happened is that you would have lived the life according to the word sacrifice. Praise God. So are you understanding? Yes? Yes. 
Yes. Very, yeah. very, why, why, you know, you might be wondering, I'm speaking about humility and then I'm speaking about sacrifice. Does anyone know the connection between humility and sacrifice? You know what is the connection? The connection within humility and sacrifice. When a person is sacrificing, the person is never focused on himself, but rather focused on others and focused on God. How he can fulfill God's plan, how he can fulfill God's purpose. Instead of focusing on his own strength, instead of focusing on his own ability, he is rather more and more focused on God's strength and God's ability. And that is how humility and sacrifice are related. When I am humbling myself, my focus is no longer on myself. My attention is no longer on myself, but my attention is on the scripture. My attention is on the truth. My attention is on the word of God. And it is this word. It is this truth. It is this gospel that is setting me free from every lie of the devil. When I start understanding the scripture, it is the truth that sets me free. Miss God. Okay, write down. When I am sacrificing, when I, or when I am, when I sacrifice, when I sacrifice, or when I offer myself as a living sacrifice, when I offer myself as a living sacrifice, when when I offer myself as a living sacrifice, I am operating in humility. I am operating in humility. Sacrifice is not only an action Sacrifice or sacrifice is not a sacrifice is an action. If sacrifice is an action of love and not only lip service. And not only lip service. And not only lip service. Praise God. So did you understand? Are there any questions? Any doubts? Praise God. No. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I heard Sister Florida's voice coming from somewhere. Okay. Praise God. It wasn't from my side. It wasn't from your side. Okay. Let's go. It was. Ah, okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, raise hands if you understood that. Four, five, six. Good. Seven. Eight, nine. Okay, over to you, Nashlin, nice, Nanti. Praise the Lord. God, Alistair. Thank you. Thank you for the teaching. And thank you all of you for coming. You know, I, I know that in, um, you know, in Bangalore, if you are in Bangalore, it's, uh, um, you know, it's raining heavily. So I'm freezing. So I know most of you must be freezing and sitting. Most of us are those who are from Bangalore. So thank you for joining and uh, see you all tomorrow at uh, 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 nine o'clock. Tomorrow also at nine o'clock. And uh, thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Alistair, for the lovely teaching. Alistair, we'll pray and wind up. Yeah, please. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we have spent with your word. Lord, as we have studied your word, it is because of you today we are totally set free. We have received the freedom. We have received the liberty, Lord. Lord, we want to live a life that is according to your word, Lord. 
And the only way for us to live this life is when we start studying the scriptures, when we start studying the truth, when we start understanding your word. This word is what is setting us free from every lie of the devil. This word is what is giving us the freedom, the liberty, so that we can live the life according to your word and not according to our situation, not according to our problem. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for teaching us this amazing truth, giving us the revelation of your word. And Lord, as we have understood your word, Thank you, Lord, for teaching us in a very simple, very easy, very practical way. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray above Father, believing that whatever we have spoken, you have heard and answered us. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Alistair. Thank, Thank you all. Bye. 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 Bye.